So we're going to conclude our proceedings for today uh, with a special announcement. It's uh, really my honor uh, to give a, a tiny talk about a, a really big technical milestone. And that milestone is called Flower LLM. So what is Flower LLM? Well, it can be summarized very briefly. It is both a model and a methodology uh, that's enabled us to do this. We have produced the world's first 1.3 billion parameter LLM. This is a pre-trained model. It's not fine-tuning. It's not an adapter. It's a raw LLM trained in a federated manner at a size that's never been seen before. And uh, Flower LLM brings together two really critical pieces of technology that is shifting um, the landscape of machine learning. The first of these, of course, is federated learning by the fact that we've been able to prove that you can train, you pre-train an LLM using federated learning methods. It enables anyone to combine a mixture of GPUs together to produce arbitrarily large uh, compute to train uh, increasingly big models. Furthermore, it allows you to access data that has never been able to be trained on LLMs before. And so by bringing the worlds of LLMs and uh, federated learning at a fundamental level, that of pre-training, we are doing two things at once. We are democratizing LLMs uh, in a true sense. It's not an, a question of open sourcing weights or allowing a series of, of open source training recipes. It enables organizations, individuals, um, companies of all sky sizes to combine GPUs together to train the very largest models on the planet and to leverage the type of data that doesn't only exist in the web but exists in the real world. And for that reason, it also enables us to push LLMs fundamentally even further. Because once you can start to uh, combine GPUs together in this manner, you can increase the parameter size. Once you can start to uh, access larger and larger amounts of data, this will result in stronger LLMs fundamentally. Um, if I start to think about the nearest result that is currently available, it's a slightly unfair comparison uh, to that of Flower LLM. That's because it's not a pure federated solution, but the nearest one is a, is a result from uh, Google DeepMind. Uh, they managed to train a model that was around 400 uh, million parameters. Um, but this result here is uh, more than three times larger than that um, under a tougher training uh, recipe. If we break down this uh, very briefly uh, into seeing uh, different varieties of flower LLM, because uh, this is a, not just a model but a methodology, if you combine, if you can compare uh, the DeepMind model to that of our largest model, you can see that we're able to train a model at 1.3 billion parameters, um, but maintaining the same demand of GPUs. We've got the same amount of clients per round and the same tokens trained, uh, but the model parameter size is, again, 3x larger. If you compare the nearest varieties of these models, uh, which would be the DeepMind model against Flower LLM Medium, uh, you can see that we're training uh, using, uh, able to train uh, twice as many clients uh, and twice as many tokens trained. Um, this is a product of um, an enormous amount of, of engineering and research work. So it's a collaboration between uh, Flower and uh, academics at the University of Cambridge that have uh, been able to pull off this um, mammoth milestone in the world of federated learning. Um, after this uh, announcement, there will be a, a blog post that uh, summarizes this slightly in more detail and then uh, following an uh, archive paper that fully encodes and describes uh, how we've been able to do this. Um, but a natural question is, where to next? Well, I think that this uh, result aligns strongly with a series of open source uh, models that have um, been produced in the last 12 months, um, especially those that exist between the 1 billion to 10 billion range. Um, but what is um, fascinating about um, Flower LLM is that it's creating a brand new category within this space. Uh, it's not correct to compare these directly with uh, the models from Mistral, from Microsoft, Mosaic, and, and the like, um, because these are federated LLMs. These are trained. Every other model I just described is centrally trained. 
uh, this model is uh, a product of a combination of various types of GPUs woven together and with the ability in its training approach to use data um, at those different isolated uh, locations. So the next steps are that uh, we believe that this uh, method will scale to 30 billion um, parameters, and this is a conjecture that we'll be demonstrating and proving over the next uh, 12 months. Um, but most importantly, as soon as humanly possible, we will be uh, releasing the source code available to everyone. It's built on Flower, but contains many technical tricks to enable it to, to be possible. But the key um, idea here is to let anyone do this. Um, and so we'll be endeavoring to do this as fast as we can. Um, that's the announcement. Thanks very much. That concludes day one of Flower Summit 2024.